What's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day. So here in Pensacola, we happen to have some of the most interesting entrepreneurs that you can find anywhere. And I happen to be friends with a lot of them. Everybody, everything from YouTubers to real estate guys to people starting restaurants and people that said, you know what, uh, corporate America is just not for me. Every once in a while I say, you know what, I've got to make this video. That is such a cool idea. I love making entrepreneurial type videos. If you've watched my dump trailer videos, if you've watched my house flipping videos, if you've watched my pallet flipping videos, I have made videos on how to make money with your pickup truck, on how to make money with a trailer, on how to make money with your stimulus check. So in this video, I wanna cover a very interesting idea, very simple idea uh, that my friend Clay came up with, and he's probably one of the best entrepreneurs I know. Great, successful story. So I'm gonna break down the stump grinder, okay? And I don't think people understand how uh, profitable this can be and I was blown away at the numbers that he told me so in this video I want to break down the idea of, of, of how to scale this business some of the pros and cons and the scalability you need to know how to scale it to the next level and I'm gonna show you how to do that and how to market it because that's one thing I'm good at is marketing and kind of uh, the things you gotta look for when jumping into one of these type of businesses. So let's get to it. So my name's Jack, this is my channel. I talk about everything from real estate, to vlogging, to fishing, to entrepreneurial stuff, to travel, whatever I feel like doing because that's what YouTube is for, it's YouTube. So the other day I uh, had a problem and every entrepreneur solution comes with uh, uh, a problem and you, you find a solution for the problem and there's always a return to be made out of that. So I had these two stumps and they were right where my shed floor needed to go and I couldn't extend into my shed. I couldn't, you know, add any more paver stones because there was these two stumps sitting there. And, uh, uh, you know, I was, I ran into one of my, my friends and he's like, I got a, I got a solution for that. Well, so my friend happens to be Clay and he happens to own uh, Cubs Crawfish and uh, he, they're like super an entrepreneurial family and they started this business here and uh, they sell crawfish. So when it's not crawfish season, he got bored and he was like, you know what? Um, I need something to do in the mornings. What can I do? and he bought a stump grinder. The cool thing about a stump grinder is it, it, it compacts. He had this trailer sitting in his driveway. He had a trailer and he had an old Toyota Tacoma or a Toyota, I think it was a Tacoma pickup truck sitting there. And he's like, hmm, stump grinder will fit on that. Let's go get a stump grinder. So the money he had saved up, he went and bought a stump grinder and he put it to work. So when I mentioned, uh, hey, I got these stumps, I'm not sure what I want to do with it. And he's like, well, I can take care of that. And he happens to live like literally, you know, not even a quarter of a mile from my house. So the next morning he came over and he took a look at them and he was like, I can do that. So he started to work. It took him about an hour and some change to knock out these two huge stumps. And uh, we had worked a deal. I was going to pay him a little over 200 bucks. And it took him two hours. It's $100 an hour. Um, but while he was there, I was like, well, how about that stump? And he was like, yeah, I can do that tiny stump. Another 50 bucks, another 75 bucks. And he had another stump and another stump. Before we know it, he had turned, you know, 200 bucks into 300 bucks. And I was happy to get rid of the stumps and we could do it all at one time. He was out of there and, you know, two and a half hours, three hours, didn't take him long. And he put it back on the truck and we went back home. And I was like, man, so I was running the numbers on this. You know, and you know, in a day he can make between, you know, if he's really hustling, do two or three jobs, depending on the size. Mine was pretty small and easy, but between a thousand and two thousand dollars a day running this stump grinder. And I was like, wow. And I was like, what would be the maintenance on this? Which it was small, fairly simple engine. And I was like, that is a great idea. So my wheels started spinning. He he's kind of developed a system on how to market it, how to uh, go out and, 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 and figuring out what type of jobs costing the most. You know, things that are clean and easy to get to are simple, but things around chain link fence, like he had one time where a chain link fence got wrapped up into his grinder and really threw a wrench in his whole thing. 
what the way he really started learning how to make money was, you know, just like anything, and this is like one of the ways to scale it, he had to figure out how to get the jobs. Well, you know, you're just like in anything, your power base, your friends, your family, your immediate people around you, your 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 neighbors, your Facebook friends, they're your core business. And, and so the way he got started is he just started reaching out to his friends and family. And, and before you know it, he had a book of, of people ready to uh, get stumps ground. And, you know, once he started uh, moving into the marketing phase, you know, you go to your local real estate meetings, handing out cards, talking to realtors, talking to contractors, people that are out there running into stumps on a daily basis, just say, hey, Clay, I got these two stumps. Can you come get it? Yeah, sure. The way he really moved up was that he was able to go out and find golf courses, small contracts of five, $10,000 worth, 10, 15, 20 stumps. And he was able to go down the line, knock them all out and do larger and larger jobs. See, Clay's competitive advantage, and that's what you got to find here, was he wanted a small stump grinder, not a big one, not to do big jobs. He wanted to do something where he could get into tight spaces, like inside of my shed, like inside somebody's property fence, like inside a privacy fence, they get inside a little gate, take care of the little stuff. And his competitive advantage, his niche was the small stuff. And he, he realized that some people couldn't get in tight spaces and this little machine really fit the mold for what he was looking for and it fit on his little trailer. What was interesting is he paid about $20,000 for the stump grinder. You know, that's what most, that's less than what most people pay for a car that sits in the driveway. He took $20,000 that was doing nothing. He went and bought, you know, we'll call it an asset. And I was like, man, he could do return on capital. That's the return on the money he invested within like three to six months if he hustled. I was like, what investment that can double itself, 100% return in three to six months? Yeah, of course it takes your time, but then you got the machine free and clear. And it was just like the same thing with a stimulus check, going to Lowe's, buying lawn equipment, cutting grass, or buying a snow shovel, or things that will pay for itself immediately those are your best returns on any type of investment. And once I, I heard the numbers, I was like, I'll write you a check for two more of them right now. Could you triple your business? And he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This was just like a, a fun thing to do in the early like morning, like afternoon when I didn't have anything to do. Like it can easily scale. And you know, you might be saying, well, Jack, I don't have $20,000 to start this business. Well, I bet you have three people that would chip money in until it's paid off at 8% interest or whatever. And you get out there and start hustling. Like, I even found a snake in there. He was, he was right there. Almost stepped on him. So I've talked about the pros of, hey, it, it's a good way to make money. Some of the cons is you got to make sure that you're... Your, what you're charging is enough. You need to make sure if you're traveling that you're covering the fuel expenses, you're covering the maintenance on your trailer, your truck, and your machine. You need to make sure that, like here in Pensacola, if you're traveling outside of your core area, let's say 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, you need to have a job that's at least getting you 150 bucks. If you're turning the machine on, and this is going to fluctuate with the economy and inflation and things that are going on right now. But if you're out there, 150 bucks, 170 bucks just to get there, you know, and if it's one or two stumps, hey, it's 170 bucks because travel. OK, you need to make sure you're not undercharging or at the end of the year. You're going to be really butthurt. So make sure that you're, you're charging enough and then have your per stump rate. Uh, after the initial one because once you get out there they're gonna be like well that one what about that one what about that one and you need to know the hardness of the wood you need to know uh how far down you can go like there was one that we had here that we knew there was a gas line close make sure before you dig you call before you dig we also you know water lines and electrical lines because a lot of people don't know where stuff is in their yard be cognitive of that. Look up. Look at the power lines. Look down. Look at a gas meter. Look at the water. Like if you see a spigot, you don't want to hit that and incur an insurance claim or a big problem. Make sure you're insured because 
those stumps start splintering and going everywhere. One <laughs> kicked out and almost hit me and uh, hit the house. And, you know, it's part of the game. Be cognizant of that. Make sure that, uh, you know, you have the proper equipment. Make sure that if anybody's working with you, they're covered too. And that's the problem with the scalability of this is making sure they can run the machine efficiently. Make sure they're a quality worker and, you know, um, if it's just you running it yourself, you know, you're pretty handy. If something breaks, you can fix it. You know, another thing is downtime on the equipment that if you, uh, you know, break it, you're out of commission. You know, do you need one or two of these things or you buy one initially and then you buy a used one or you buy a used one initially until you have enough to buy a, a new one. And, you know, like you're going to have to be handy on the spot, but great idea if you're a guy that says, you know what, I'm going to get out of the job I'm doing and I'm looking at this and I've been wondering, is it profitable? Yes, it's very profitable. You just got to make sure you charge enough because that's that's the key to it. You know, if you're scared of your prices, they are too. So answer the phone, be professional, and you will get most of the jobs because they just know you will get the job done. The entrepreneur world is is full of of people taking risks and sometimes you got to take risks there's really only four ways to make money in this world time something in exchange for your time work for in exchange for your time selling a product selling information and putting something to work for money and that was the one i was trying to do there at the end was put my money to work with him and get me a return um, but so you got so you got to think about those categories and you know, this one is a service and it's putting something to work. And I, I com just like the pallet flipping game or the dump trailer business, I would rank this one up there with the dump trailer business as far as, wow, that's a very interesting machine that I think you will return your money on and make a living for your family if you don't want to go back and work for somebody. I believe that anybody that has the willingness to work, show up on time, return calls, works hard, can survive in this world and be very prosperous, okay? And one thing about this stump grinder is it turns it all to sawdust and uh, there's really not much to move. It's not like a tree trimmer that has to go and dump all the trees. So I wanted to add, hey, if you're in the Pensacola area and you are looking for somebody to uh, do stumps, I'll put his, uh, his phone number and, and contact in the, the description box. So give him a call, tell him Jack sent you and you saw the video, it, it'll, it'll give him a kick. So he's a really cool guy. And uh, you know, I like representing these little entrepreneurs that are out there just doing their little thing and supporting themselves by just their own bare hands. I really respect that kind of stuff. And that's why I like to make videos on it. And there's a lot of, you know, guys out there doing their own thing that didn't ask for commission from anybody and said, I'll, I'm going to support myself with my own two hands. And that is really cool. So I hope this video helped. I, I really love the concept of this idea. And I love talking about ways to make money and feed your family or add to your 401k or go on a vacation. And this one was really cool. And it, and, and as a, a, a the money guy, I would love to buying i would love to buy two or three of these and put them to work i you know it's all about the maintenance and how many hours you can run and as long as your guys don't tear them up but comment down below if you've been in this game you know somebody that does this uh if there's uh, uh an idea or a, something that you would need to know to get into this that you wish that you knew before you got into us comment down below with that and we'll share the ideas and maybe that young man out there that just wants to feed his kids, this is it. I'll see you guys in the next video.